Good morning. I've seen so many of my fellow Gen X creators jumping onto 30 day challenges and doing some fabulous videos, just talking to the camera, just sharing what's on their, on their mind and got me, got my FOMO going a little bit and maybe there's a competitive streak in me. But it's got me thinking, oh, should I do a challenge? Should I do a 30-day challenge? And, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me turn this around. Can I catch him? Beautiful dragonfly. But no, he's gone. I wasn't fast enough. Oh, hopefully I'll see another one and I'll try and get it. So I've been thinking, should I start a 30-day challenge? You know, thinking about it logically, I should have started this if I was going to do it on the 1st of September, 30 days of September, etc. But I never do anything by the rules. Who needs rules anyway? But I was thinking this morning, do I want to commit to 30 days? Because I think that's a lot. 30 days, every day, turning up, showing up, coming up with ideas of what to talk about and I think it feels like a lot of a lot of pressure there's a squirrel, let me just turn around I don't know if you're going to be able to see him let me see, let me see if I can get any closer can you see him? oh, there he goes no, he's gone He's done a runner. Yeah, I think it might be a lot of pressure. And I got really pressured with YouTube a month or so ago. And I don't know if I want that level of stress. I'm finding a way now to really enjoy making videos without putting any pressure on myself. I've stripped everything back and tried to simplify. So I don't know. I'm in a quandary whether to do this 30 day challenge or not. I think what I'm probably going to do is set myself a one day at a time challenge instead and just see how many days consecutively I can post a video and see how it goes see if I can find enough things to talk about day after day after day one thing I am wanting to do though is set myself a fitness and health challenge because I have spent a lifetime yo-yo dieting my weight goes up I lose it, I focus intently for a few months, I get the weight down and then I slip back into old habits and the weight goes back on and a bit more and I'm heavier now than I've ever been in my life and I really don't want to be this heavy anymore so I think I need to focus my challenge on actually just losing weight. Just look at that beautiful blue sky as it's there in between the trees. How beautiful is that? Maybe the challenge I need to set myself is around my health and fitness. And maybe that's how I can do this challenge. Maybe every day I let you know how I'm getting on. I certainly want to try and make the most of this beautiful late summer sunshine 
before we get into autumn and then into winter. I do love autumn though. The leaves haven't started to fall here yet. But when we get into October and the, the colours change and we get those beautiful autumn golds and reds, it's my favourite season. So maybe, maybe that's how I do this challenge. Maybe I just commit to coming out and getting some fresh air and walking every day. I already dance a couple of times a week. And I already do aquafit a couple of times a week. But you know, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. And whilst my diet on the whole is pretty healthy, I definitely eat too much. And I definitely comfort eat. Not, not in a sort of an emotional eating sort of way, although I would argue well, all eating is emotional, isn't it? Eating is a big part of being human. It's a social aspect. We went out for lunch yesterday with my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law and it was a sociable event. But I do comfort eat. I think, actually rather than comfort eating, I think I boredom eat. I think I boredom eat. And it tends to be in the evenings when I finally sit down and sort of stop doing stuff in the day. And it's too easy to have a drink, a glass of wine, grab a bit of chocolate or some popcorn as we're watching a bit of TV. And I've got into this sort of habit of snacking that I want to get out of. So that's what I think my challenge is going to be. And I'm not sure if maybe the only way I can do a health and fitness challenge is to do the same thing. Make it a day at a time challenge. Rather than set myself a goal of, I'm gonna do this for 30 days. Because what happens at the end of 30 days? Maybe what I need to be doing is making little changes in my habits every day. And trying to make them more consistent and not overwhelming. So maybe I start with just making sure that I get out here into the beautiful woods we've got right on our doorstep and go for a walk, keep up with the other exercise and maybe just start stacking better habits one on top of the other. I'm sorry it's so bright and I've forgotten my ND filter so I hope this isn't too uncomfortable for you to watch. Maybe I can do something with the brightness and the shadows. They seem to be going from light to dark. Look at this. I'm going to show you this. How beautiful. How beautiful is this? Just have this amazing space right on the doorstep. And often apart from the odd dog walker or the odd jogger, it's really quiet. You don't really see anybody either. It's so beautiful. I'm going to take you over here. What we've got? Somebody's bought, built like a little den, like a hide. Look at this. How cool is that? It's just so beautiful, isn't it? It's so calm. It's so relaxing. Keep hearing all the rustle, rustling in the trees. Squirrels and birds. We get a lot of deer in the woods as well, although I doubt I'm going to see any today. It would be lovely if I did. So there you go. This is my day one, my one day at a time challenge. And I'm going to keep it quite slow paced as well, I think. Let me know if that works for you or if, if it's too slow. I see so many people on YouTube racing 
getting the words out so quickly you can barely keep up. And I'm going to give a shout out to one of my fellow Gen X creators, Jen, from Jen Gold Beautiful Life Sage, who did the most gorgeous video today where she read something from her journal from many years ago talking about her grandma and it was slow and it was measured and it was just beautiful sometimes we don't want everything to be moving at a supersonic pace sometimes I think it's nice just to have a slow down that slow note I'm going to leave you for today and hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow assuming that I keep my challenge watch this space